USDA's prospective plantings estimates were a surprise to the markets Wednesday. Corn plantings are pegged at 91.1 million acres, up less than 1 percent from last year. Soybean acres are estimated at 87.6 million acres, up only 5 percent from 2020. That adds up to 178 million acres. Back in February, when they did their Outlook conference in Washington, D.C., the total acres they had in their, num in their report was about 182 million combined corn and bean acres, and the trade had expected that to be closer to 183 in this report. So coming in at 187, that left a pretty big hole for the market to digest, and they did that by having a limit-up move in corn and beans uh, in, when, in uh, Wednesday afternoon trade. The wheat may have gotten ignored a bit, but it was fairly newsworthy in as much as, you know, uh, U.S. carryouts are still over 30 percent uh, stocks to use ratio, so we have plenty of wheat around. Uh, we did get a bearish surprise uh, with uh, all wheat acres being up uh, from what we had guessed. And, and really the biggest surprise for us and for Michigan is the fact that we saw uh, winter wheat acres up significantly in Michigan um, by about 14 percent. So they, on one hand, they reported corn acres this spring to be down about uh, 4 percent from last year, bean acres to be up about 2 percent. We kind of were expecting a bigger boost in corn acres, but it may have been perhaps that uh, Michigan farmers planted uh, a lot more wheat than we expected, and that came out in the numbers yesterday with uh, acres, which Michigan wheat acres being 560,000 acres, which is 14% above a year ago. Lake says old crop values will be tempered, but the same cannot be said for new crop corn and soybeans. Uh, we would set targets in that 510, 515 range right now. And certainly, um, if you talk to an MAC merchandiser, you're going to be able to get an idea what some additional targets could be on a on a move higher. But currently, that's where we would be on new crop corn. November soybean targets would be in the mid 13s right now. Um, we eclipsed the old contract high uh, overnight at 12.65, and uh, currently trading in the 12.80 range for uh, November bean futures. Uh, so that pushes those targets up into those, uh, you know, 13.20, 13.50 range. We do know that uh, Michigan wheat farmers have some problems as it comes to harvest. The processors have a lot of coverage. Uh, we have more acres planted now than we expected. So we got a We've got a, we certainly have a basis problem for Michigan wheat. Uh, we would probably encourage uh, producers, if they have unpriced wheat, maybe to take a look at locking in some basis for uh, summer delivery here.